Peace, Subject Deep Mind. 255 here. What up? What Speech up? Level intelligence confirmed. Preparing to Looking capture. forward to this new trailer. <laughs> if you're a Rufo Marvel fan, you know he's losing his mind right now. <laughs> All right, let's check him out. Gold What's that? You want to know what? man, big normals. Big Aliens. normals. Don't pay and it looked like he, he got stag on him, too. Oh. Of course, you got to have a throw. Explain. You got to oh. have a throw. Again, I wonder if we're going to see how much plan this F. alien does. Bring it on out. But, uh, yep, Sorry, you got to be normal. My buddy. Oh, yeah, big characters do that. I say this seconds. much about Arc System. They do a great job a good at making big uh, characters. You're fixing to start uh, a you're war looking there, at Temkin, Raleigh from PBMZ, or even that big guy that sucks you in in uh, Blaze Blue. Arc System does a great job with uh, big characters. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, some scenes of one, so we'll take a look at that. Let's take a look at, again at this trailer again. Slow it down a little bit. I think the creators, devs, have Chip here for the specific reason, maybe, of letting us know that Gold Lewis is going to be able to deal with Rushdown characters. And it looks like one of the ways they're doing that is giving him this move that it looks like it, at least it staggers. So if you are able to um, land it, you, you can kind of control or still have your turn. That's what this is looking like. And I think that's important for big characters because obviously you don't get a lot of chances to um, hit you before they get uh, hit a lot themselves. No, I'm not crazy, but it looks like every single time Gold Lewis hits a character with that daggone coffin, it causes some type of stagger motion. That looks pretty cool. And it fits in with Arc System's habit of letting each character play their own version of the game. But uh, nothing says Juggernaut like physically forcing the character to move every time you hit them. And he has a shoulder tackle. The running animation looks good too. Looks very realistic. I wonder how fast it is though. If it, if it was fast, that'd be, uh, obviously would be OD. But if it's slow, that makes sense. He's a big character. But I'm really loving this idea of every time Gold Lewis swings that coffin, get some type of stagger. And depending on the type of chip damage it does, Gold Lewis looks like he's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Now, I keep seeing his dash, and we have to think about that. This is a big character. This is clearly a big character. It looks like he's dashing now. I'm looking at the animation. My guess is that either it's a dash or it's going to be some type of uh, quarter circle motion punch, to use an old school term. But it's either gonna probably be some input delay, but I just can't imagine a character that can stagger you every time he hits you with his coffin and being able to dash too. Gold Lewis would be like borderline OD. But we don't have to wait that long as he's coming out on July 7th. That's just in seven days for season pass holders. Now in this next clip, that looks like his forward punch. And it looks like he's got a projectile too. That's what that probably is. I mean, it could be just a normal, uh, a normal not his forward punch. It could be another normal, but I'm guessing that's what it is. And then that projectile after a while. So he has enough time to knock you out of the air and set up a projectile and keep moving. This is looking, this is looking good. This is looking good. Like I said, Arc System does a good job of making their characters. He can dash forward. He can throw projectiles. He can stagger you when he kills you with that coffin. He's looking pretty good right now. And it looks like some of his normals are going to be do that coffin. By the way, in that previous one where you see his arm go up, I'm pretty sure that was like a dust attack. I'm guessing that this move has got to be a super because if it is not a level one, Gold Lewis is gonna be crazy. And I kept showing that clip before because it looks like it's some type of move that just stops an opponent who's running down. Maybe it's got some armor on it. Be pretty crazy to have an armored projectile. Broly, overall, I think he's a he looks like he could be a great character, 
Uh, so far, we've seen him with three different projectiles. You saw him shoot the eye laser, and I'm not sure what that is. He had a machine gun that looked like a, a level one if it's a regular, normal, or a special. That's crazy. He also had that little helicopter thing that he sets out. So he's got, he can play far away even if he can't rush in on you, but he looks like he has some type of dash move, whether that's the dash button or an input special. I'm not sure, but uh, he's out as it says here, July 27th. So I'm looking forward to seeing gameplay with him. And what we have here, it looks like we have our season one roadmap. So Gold Wolves on the 27th. We got another character coming out in August, probably toward the end of the month, or maybe they might surprise us. And then they're not telling us when the next additional character after that's coming. But we're not going to get any new stages after the 2021 release in, until 2022. And then we'll get another story mode later in 2022. So plenty of new content. Well, we just have to wait a little bit of while. But I'm guessing these first three DLC characters are going to be pretty wild. And just looking at Gold Lewis, Arc System's doing a great job right now. Yo, this is DeepMind255. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on, on Deep Lewis, and I'll be here covering it in other fighting game news. This is 255 out. One.